Hey guys, it's Sam. I'm here with an unboxing for you today. This is a planner from Hemlock and Oak, and I'm really excited to open it with you guys because it's been a while getting here. This was a pre-order and I am just really excited. This planner is not my usual choice and I just can't wait to get my hands on it. So if you're interested in seeing the unboxing of this planner and my thoughts, stay tuned. Of course I bought a safe or something to do unboxings with and I can't find where I put it so just winging it with scissors for now all right so to get started I will say that I did not purchase this this is a gift from Hemlock and Oak they reached out to me several months ago asking if I would be interested in reviewing their product I ignore 99% of the emails I get asking about reviews Either it's a product that I'm not in love with or I wouldn't buy on my own or I don't think that it's a good fit for my channel. And in this particular instance, I went to the website before responding, fell in love with what I saw and I was so excited to be able to share this with you and to experience this product for myself. This seems to have a few uh, gifts otherwise. I'm really excited about that. There's a little thank you card beautiful even the card feels nice and looks like there's some tabs here I hate opening things like this because I want to I want to be able to keep the uh, sticker intact so let's just go ahead and cut this all right so yes there are some tabs here for the months and that's really thick paper. Uh, there's also these stickers. Very pretty. I love that they are nice neutral colors. Oh, all right, all right. Okay, so this is a daily notepad and I have actually been really looking for something like this. I'm like afraid to open anything. This is just really nicely put together. So yeah, I've been looking for something like this and I couldn't find anything that was like perfect um this i really like this so write down the schedule lots of room for to like the things that you need to do in a day your intentions for the day and the date i love this this is a nice thick notepad and then this is a task stickies i guess we'll see about the sizing compared to the planner when we, we get in when we get into that but I love these. I would use these even in my like personal rings and everything. And then the star of the show, this is beautifully packaged. Oh my goodness. Already impressed and I haven't even opened it. So this beautiful box with gold embossing. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh, this is such a beautiful color. Oh my gosh. Okay. Ooh. Oh, look at this. This is so thoughtful. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm going to tell you, <laughs> I'm already in love with this company. Okay. So whenever I buy anything that you can put tabs on, I always wuss out and then I don't do it because I'm afraid that I'm going to mess it all up. So this, it's, it's a, it's a guide so that you know where to put your tabs. Oh my goodness, I love this. I, can, I have several sets of tabs for my Bibles that I have never put on for fear of like messing it all up and I just love this. Okay, that super impressed. I know it's such a small thing, but to me thinking of little things like that, that it's gonna help the person who is building the planner, just it's so meaningful to me. All right, let's move this up just a tad so we can see all of it in frame. Okay, so, oh, these are pretty. Okay, so just a few details for you before I open it up and get started with my thoughts on it. This is an undated weekly planner. I always prefer dated. That wasn't what was, that wasn't what was offered right now, but I was like, I need to get my hands on this. It, it looked just so beautiful from the website. And I thought if I fall in love with it, 
I can always get a dated version going forward. So this is the undated weekly planner. There's also a daily planner that they offer. This one is in the color Marigold, which is, mm, I am all into the earthy colors. This is definitely a nice deep mustard. The ribbons are recycled, uh, beautiful ribbons that go with the color of the planner. The paper is bright white, 120 GSM, 80 pound paper, and it has six premium limited edition colors. The size of the planner is 6.375 by 8.5, which is the page, um, not the cover itself. And it has grid spacing of 4.2 millimeters, which is a small change from what I'm used to with the Hobonichi Weeks, but I know that it will make a big difference. So let's open this up. You can also see that it's made in Canada, has a lay flat, lay flat binding and is FSC certified. This is beautiful. Okay, here we go, here we go. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay, this just feels so special. The mighty oak was once an acorn that stood its ground. Okay, so there's, it kind of feels like a book. Okay, a lot of introductory stuff here. Um, boy, do I like this. Goodness, I like this. A place to put your values, reflection. Identify four people that you respect or admire. Imagine listening to a positive conversation about yourself in the future. Oh gosh, that one's gonna be hard. Um, gosh, I really like this. Okay, so lots of good reflections. Personal values, oh wow. This is really unlike anything that I have seen before. I love the simple, minimal, beautiful colors in here. This is like, I don't know, it might be showing up like brown but it, it almost has like a sheen to it like copper within the page goal setting the pages are numbered habit cultivation oh wow this is so pretty daily framework okay so you break down your goals and all of that and then this is how you want your day to look other things that are important Yearly planning, I love this. Okay, different kind of yearly planning and a monthly overview. So you put the month in, what boundaries will you set for yourself this month? I really like that. It very much goes against the like, yes culture and the, you know, doing everything. So what boundaries, I really like that. Three ways you can carve out time for self-care, intentions of the month, habits you wanna cultivate, and then the frequency, a tracker. Love that. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's the monthly overview, and it looks like there's going to be all of the months up front like that. I really like that, that all of your like goals for the year are gonna be all together. And then there's quotes at the top here. This is... It just feels special. The pages are nice and thick. I, I did read on the website that these are gonna be perfect for using Tombow markers, uh, fountain pens. Okay, oh, okay, so you have monthly overview and then monthly review. Month of three memorable moments. What gave you energy? What drained you? So there's po positive and negative columns. A lesson, thought, or growth moment from this month. And then lots of places to write things. Okay, so we're going to have 12 of these. I love this. Whoa. Okay. All right. Okay, okay. <laughs> Despite the fact that I'm always fearful of dating these kinds of books, I love that this calendar, the, the calendar itself, takes up so much space on the page and you get all of this space for writing. I'll give a, let's see here, let me just show you like my personal rings, the little monthly space. This is massive in comparison. And then 
all of these running tasks that you can do. I know that I struggle going back and forth between a bound book and a ring bound planner, but I love that there is just all of this room to write. Okay, so all of the monthly calendars are going to be together. And then you'll get to your weeklies. And I really like this flow. I liked to have things in certain sections. Um, that will be perfect for tabbing as well. So the months are here and then you move into the weeklies. And I love this. I do really like a more vertical layout lately. Um, this is like my favorite ring insert. And I like how clean this is. I know that a lot of times the planners that we use have like a theme already laid out for you. And all of this is just very neutral. Let me check the size of the columns here. So this is what I'm used to working with. And it's just it's just like one grid smaller. So that would be very similar then to the commit 30 that I have used. And so I know that I can, I can make that work. I love the fact that there is grid everywhere through here. Um, that really just helps me. I like to have lines of some kind and I do not like dot grid. So I love that this is just regular grid. So you have the week of, and then your Monday through Sunday, and then this space here is where I would normally put like either my work schedule or the weather or like a, a favorite memory of the day. And then your, your timeline starts at 6 a.m. and goes until 10. You have this little heart here that kind of looks like a heart rate monitor. So I guess that would be maybe for your workouts. I'd have to dive into the beginning of the planner to see if it tells you that there. But then you have a place for your focus, your intentions, and a to-do list. And I love that you have a bunch of this grid on the bottom that you can um, kind of do with what you want. This is where I would put a tracker um, because I really have liked trackers <laughs> lately. Um, yeah, I think this is beautiful. I love that the pages are numbered. So we have all of our weeks here. There's gonna be 52 weeks. Those beautiful ribbons, look at those. Uh, I would not rip these out. These, I think, are keepers. All right, so let's see what happens when we get to the end of the weeks. So beautiful, and it's already lay flat. Love that, and gosh, I like this paper. A year end review, giving ourselves time to review the last year allows us to reflect on our journey lots of things to say here year end review reflection looking ahead oh and then let's see we've got one two three four five six like ten ten twenty pages let's see i should count and not be lazy okay so it starts at 210 and the final one is 223, so 23 pages, 13 pages. What is math? <laughs> I work at a bank. Um, and then this quote from Robert Frost to end the planner. And goodness gracious, is this beautiful. Here's my only issue right now. <laughs> my only issue is I love that this is set up to have so much focus on it and it feels to me very much like a january start planner but i don't think that i would want to go back and back plan from january because we're halfway through the year now um and i've not been a person who really likes like an alternate timeline on a planner but i also don't think that i would want to wait to use this okay uh, i'm very torn right now about what to do because i i would like to move into this and give it a go um this is like to me this is like my my wanted version of a hobonichi cousin 
um, nice big open spaces for your calendar the preferred weekly view that I love but I don't need the dailies for a cousin and so I feel like this this is like exactly what I had been looking for in a Hobonichi but not a Hobonichi and not the Tomoe River paper that I would be fighting with maybe maybe I should just start the week that it is now and hope that I'll go back and backfill the planner because I really would like to I would like to end the year in this. This is just so pretty. Okay, let me grab a few pens and do a couple pen tests here. I think it's gonna be beautiful. Okay, so this is gonna just be pen. This is the UniJet stream. This is in 0.7, which is my preferred. I use these everywhere but the Hobonichi weeks. I use them in my Bible. I use the one at work. Um, I just love these pens, just not in the weeks. So that is great. This is a Sarasa Nano. This is the point three, which is not my preferred, um, but it's just here. Let's go with something a little bit more bold. Oh, Pilot G2 is nice on that. That feels very nice. Um, what do we have here? Now this is a new Sharpie pen, so it has to get started. Sharpie, and this is a 0.7, and the Pilot G2 is also a 0.7, which I've not been really using a lot these days. Let me do this. And then I'll do a few swatches of some Tombow markers into some darker colors for me because I seem to always like go with the tan so we'll do these and then I'd share my fountain pen but I don't know where it is I don't know where it is and I don't, I don't think I current, mm, I have like my, uh, I don't know where it is. So we're going to have to just skip that. So here are the pens that I tested. That's like, you can barely tell that there's anything there at all. Beautiful, beautiful. I think this is. This is the most beautiful planner that I've ever seen, hands down. This is a bit larger planner than I have been carrying. Um, this just feels special. I don't know that this would be the planner that I would carry around every day, although minds can be changed, just because I'm not used to carrying a planner like this. If you worked from home or stayed home, there would be no question about it. This I think would be the book that I would want to keep as my memory planner for the year, like even over the Hobonichi weeks. It's that nice, it's that neutral, it feels substantial, it feels like it's such good quality, like in the same way that the Hobonichi products are such good quality. Um, if you don't like the small grid spacings, if you don't like that the Hobonichi uh, weeks specifically has like the weekly layout where there's like no grids or lines of any kind on the left hand page. Um, if you don't like the kind of paper that they use, I think that this would be a fabulous planner to move to instead. I prefer this so far over the Hobonichi Cousin just because of the paper being thicker, not having to worry about the pens and not having the daily. Like this is ideal for me and I cannot wait. I think I'm gonna go ahead find out where we are as far as the weeks go and hop in this week and just start using it and see what happens. I love this planner. 
I will definitely keep you updated on it because I'm just so excited. I hope that you can tell. Thank you so much, Hemlock and Oak, for sending this to me to review. You'll be seeing more of it for sure. This is beautiful. You've done a fabulous job. Um, you've been around for a few years now, but this is my first uh, time experiencing this company, but I am so impressed. It's so beautiful. And if you're looking for a gift to give someone and you know that they're a planner person in any way, I would 100% say go with this. It's beautiful. It's not cheap. Um, I think it was $62 on the website right now and it ships from Canada, but this is just so very special and heavens knows we've all spent <laughs> that on planners. So <laughs> I would definitely not let the price uh, hold you back. It's just so beautiful. Let me know what you think about this planner in the comments below. I can't wait to hear from you. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. It really helps my channel. And if you're new around here and don't want to miss out on future videos, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much as always for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye guys.